Hello everyone, you guys are watching Edwards Fitness and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to learn a clean muscle up. The basic requirements that you guys will need for this is knowing how to do 3 to 5 regular muscle ups. And those muscle ups, it doesn't matter how you do them as long as you lock out with your arms, like that. Now, the way that the clean muscle ups is done is, it's all with strength. You cannot keep and you cannot swing at all. So this is how it's going to look like. So the first exercise that we're going to start working on is reverse muscle ups. Now the way that we're going to work on this exercise is we're going to go to the top of the pull-up bar and we're going to do this exercise the same way that it sounds. We're going to go reverse. Instead of going up, we're going to go down into the muscle up like this. Now what we're going to do for this exercise is lower ourselves as slow as we can. As you noticed when I was going down, I wasn't locking out completely. I was trying to do it slowly, all with strength. So this is gonna be the key exercise to learning a clean muscle up. This is the exercise that you guys will need to practice a lot to learn a clean muscle up. Now, some things that will help you guys out with this exercise is, have your friend with you if it's too hard for you to lock out slowly like this. So try it out first. If you can at least go down slowly, if you can at least go down this low. So if you can go down this low, like this, then you're set. If you can't go down even that slow, then make sure you have a friend with you that's going to help you out. Now what your friend is gonna do is, he's gonna hold you with the lower part of your torso over here and just support you just a little bit. So when you're going down, he's just gonna hold you a little bit and push you up just a bit. Make sure that he doesn't push you a lot because if he pushes you a lot, then you're not gonna get any workout from this and it's not gonna help you. Make sure he pushes you just enough so you'll be able to lower yourself slow. Keep doing this exercise, keep practicing it till the point that you'll be able to switch and start doing yourself. Even if it's not, even if it feels like you're not going slow at all, as long as you can go down slower, usually it's slower than just locking out completely. If you can go down this slow, then you're set. Start practicing yourself now. Something else that I recommend for you guys to do while you guys are learning this first exercise is keeping your body in an L form like this. So this way. So this is gonna help you guys out a lot. If you can hold yourself like that, it's gonna help you a lot for this exercise. And I'm gonna show you guys why it's gonna be helpful. If you don't know how to hold yourself in an L form like this, I'm gonna have a link over here for a tutorial on how to learn it. So once you guys learn it, the reason why this is gonna help out is when you guys are having your body straight like this, when you guys are going down, your legs just a bit bended when you're going down slowly, your back is, since you're going down slowly, your back is gonna to lean towards the back more. And that way it's much harder to be able to stabilize and go down slowly slower but if you can keep your body in an L form like this the legs the torso it stabilizes like that because it's, it's pushing a bit to the front like this when you hold it in an L sit and since you're leaning back so it kind of pushes against it and it stabilizes the body it's going to be much more comfortable to be able to lower yourself down slowly like this so make sure you guys learn this first once you guys learn it start practicing this exercise Start going down slowly and hold it in an L form like this. Keep practicing it, practice it to the point that you'll be able to do it this slow. So once you guys get to this point after that, Start reducing the else's like this and start doing it with a straight body like that. Keep practicing on that to the point that you guys will be able to do it that slowly and with a straight body. The legs don't have to be completely straight, they can be just a bit out in the air like this. As long as they're not in an L form like this, but mostly just down, you guys should be good. So keep practicing it to the point that you'll be able to do it that slow and with a pretty much straight body like that. Now the last exercise that we're going to work on is bar dips. Now since you guys know how to do a regular muscle ups, I'm sure you guys went through bar dips and practiced a bit on those. Now these bar dips that we're going to do is we're going to try to go down all the way to the chest and sometimes just a bit lower than the chest. So this is how these bar dips should look like. So regular bar dips are done like this, usually that's how low people go down. But for this exercise, make sure that you go down as low as to the chest all the way in here and push it out and keep trying to go lower just a bit lower and go back up just a bit lower 
the chest and go back up. So this might be really difficult in the beginning, but keep practicing it slowly. Go down lower, 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 to the point that you'll be able to reach it all the way to the chest here. And go down just a little bit lower. By going down just a bit lower than the chest, changes the difficulty by a lot, and it's gonna be a great exercise for the second part of the muscle. So the first exercise that I showed you guys was reverse muscle ups. That's gonna help out when you're picking up to here. And the bar dips, when you go past the chest a little bit lower, keep doing this exercise, that's gonna help out to lock out the muscle up shape like this. And that's all the exercise that you guys need to learn this muscle up. This muscle up is not difficult to learn. If you can know how to do the regular three to five muscle ups, the more regular muscle ups you can do, the easier you'll learn this. And that's it guys, that's all the exercises. Thanks for watching and I'll see everyone later.